Everybody, it's Victor. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. I hope your midweeks have gone off to a great start. We did have another video from the weekend go over 3,000 likes. Thank you all very much for all the support. I really appreciate it as we make our way towards TM Trainer Month, which is, uh, yeah, it's causing a lot of people to get excited already for it. And I am as well, honestly. So here's your meme of the day slash artwork slash cat slash picture of the day. Sent in by, I'm going to say... Buwika, Bu or Boica, I, I apologize for, for butchering your name. Tothra was my rescue cat, loves watching Sinvicta with me, and that is awesome. Love to see it. We have so many cat owners in the mosh pit. We, we need more, we need more, need to see more dogs. I also like the, like the ghosts, like little figurines on the bottom left. I know that that wasn't like the intended inclusion in the picture, but I just looked at those. I was like, huh, those look like some ghosts from Halloween or something. Thank you very much. Boica, Buica, Buica. I please let me know how to pronounce your name because I'm doing a horrible job at it. Top on into this here Eden Run and see what's going on. See, today is going to be uh, Delta Whiskey 99, Delta 4, Delta Tango. And oh my goodness, we are starting off hot. The Glyph of Balance, but also our extra item is going to be Red Stew, which is the extra item that we got from yesterday's video, obviously, with the Eden's Blessing from Esau Jr. So. You know that uh, that is that's good to know. I mean, I like I was ninety. I would. I'm not gonna say ninety nine. I was ninety percent sure that Eden's blessing would work with Eden with uh, Esau Junior. But I've seen things before where if you roll into Eden's blessing, it doesn't actually count. So I and I didn't know if the game like actually considered uh, Eden's blessing as in like is it a re roll or not? I, I mean, I don't. I don't know. So. We can probably go get that golden chest. We probably should. Obviously, we want to try to go as fast as possible here in the early stages because we don't want to waste Eden's blessing and or uh, the uh, red stew. And yeah, this is a just fantastic shop right there. Just, I mean, what? What's what's there? What what what? You got a problem with that? It's a, it's a fully upgraded shop in repentance. Of course, it's going to be great. Come on now. What's 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 the matter? Yeah, it's a funny game. Okay, so the game is literally it's it's already just on its on its usual ish. Here, not only are we getting trolled by getting a second golden chest, but also it's doing this deliberately because it, we, it knows that we're trying to get uh, red stew like as much value as possible. No, I'm not going back for the golden chest. I do not care. I simply do not care. We know we know how this goes. Uh, we also have the dull razor blade, which is a, it is technically going to allow us to go into a cursory for half price. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Lover's card, star's card. I think what we do is we use the lover's card here. Um, obviously, I'm going to take the emperor card, and uh, we will use... Let's take the emperor card and take it out of this room temporarily here. Going to do this, do this. Again, this is the game again, again. Uh, it's deliberate attempt to make us waste time. There we go. So we go back here, grab the emperor card, and then we are probably going to go straight for... The uh, straight for the boss. I'm not going to do a commercial break for this one because I literally am just going to go straight there. No, we we need to we need to maximize this here. Now here's to hoping that we get ourselves an HP upgrade um, or something that gives us a soul heart and the devil deal because obviously it's going to combo very well with red stew. And uh, we do get a soul heart, so that's good. We also get a tears up, which is very good, and we also get all this, which is not great. Um, Sanguine Bond, maybe, I guess. I mean, it gives us the Devil Deal precedent, sure, but yeah. Not uh, not exactly what I would say is my top uh, choice for a Devil Deal. And while we're getting going here, since we are technically, I guess, already on the uh, on the second floor, uh, question episode from last week's episode, which was the Tainted Eve run, was simply, what is your thoughts on Tainted Eve? And a lot of people seem to have the similar thoughts with her. Um, the, the most upvoted comment came in, from I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kelly Kelly Knox Kelly Knox uh, three four six nine uh, who said she gets rolling out of control really quickly but I don't like the fact that whenever she, whenever Eve gets flying the little clots don't get some kind of little wings or something and then they they put a, a sad face there and uh, the, it something like that would be kind of kind of cute it would make sense definitely but. Um, yeah, I mean the clots, the clots, you know, clotty gangs do they they do work. They do work. A uh, second most of I don't know what that means. Just don't listen to me. Second most of a comment came in from Bishop six five nine, uh, who said I like how cute and dumb the little clots look, which makes me like to play her. On top of the fact that we get the swarm of shots, 
So a lot of people really obsessed with just the amount or just what the clots look like, which is news to me because honestly, I've never really paid too much attention to the clot gang other than like just trying to keep them safe and from doing something stupid. Uh, and last but not least, it uh, came in from Tuck is Noob, who said, uh, was really scared to try her at first, but then re quickly realized how well she can scale uh, or how, how well that with HP she can have theoretically the most insane builds with very little. Um, yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, if you if you've ever seen me play, if you've ever seen me play the Binding of Isaac: Repentance, you know my love affair with having some Torium. Some Torium is just so so strong. No, we're we're not doing this. I, I w refuse to let you to waste any more of my time, any more of of Red Stew's time here, game. I'm not going to play into your into your themes here. Very happy we got the tears up. Glyph of Balance obviously is going to be a huge help for us as well because it is going to allow us to basically farm and uh, I'll show you more of what we what I'm talking about later on. I, I, I tell you what, if we get a chance to get back in the Devil Deal... Yeah, Red Stew's already gone. Um, if we get a chance to get back in the Devil Deal here, I will play Sanguine Bond because there's a very neat trick that we learned a, a little while ago. Um, and you see how bad our damage is, which is the reason why I was trying to rush. So we only got two, basically two floors worth of clears. And of course, we're not going to do the devil deal, but say lovey. So what is neat about Glyph of Balance, and this is something that we discovered a few months ago, is that if you have a low amount of health, low enough health, to proc the soul heart payout every single time you clear a room, it will give you a, um, essentially it will give you a soul heart after every single clear. And then what you can do is you can combo that with, um, not picking up the soul heart. So I know that we're in the curse room, so we have to be extremely careful here, which is the reason why I would love to take Ouija board, but we just simply can't, uh, cause we would literally die going back into the uh, the curse room. So I'm just going to... Maybe we get lucky and get soul hearts here. Okay. Well, we're, we're back to square one, but... Okay. Yeah, that's all, that's all I'm willing to do right now. Oh, actually, you know what? We could have actually blinked... We could have blunked through there. I didn't realize that. So what, what theoretically should happen, we should get a soul heart here. Okay. So now that that has happened... What we can do is we can we can kind of let it ride, and we got to be careful. However, as long as we do not pick up any more of these soul hearts, they will continue to spawn after every single room clear. It is one of the most broken things in the game, and it's one that honestly not a lot of people really talk about. It's what made me realize that Glyph of Balance is actually OP. Um, the fact that you can farm guaranteed soul hearts like this as long as you have enough, as long as your HP doesn't eclipse the amount of like bombs, the amount of keys, or etc. that you get, you're going to be able to get virtually unlimited HP until you start picking them up. So obviously, we need to be careful here because we don't want to die. Uh, we don't want to get hit by a champion or anything stupid. But ah, didn't mean to pick that up. It's so, okay. So I was gonna bomb myself into the super secret room right there, but now I don't know if we have enough HP to continue to spawn the soul heart. So we may go back into the curse room or play the sacrifice room. We'll see what we get here after we clear the G the uh, the Larry Jr. room. Also, what is this map, by the way? Yeah, see, we get we, we get that the key now. So we're going to go here, do that. I'm going to grab a key just so we don't have a surplus of anything. We just want to make sure that we're getting our most needed, quote, stat right now, which is HP. So having said that, we should have gone back to our soul heart our soul heart uh, allocation now per room clear and then obviously obviously we're going to pick up everything after we're done after we're done clearing up to the boss we just have to be very very cautious because we're only on one hp right now we get hit by a champion that's i mean that's it so there you go so we're back on the soul heart stuff wow there's actually bone needles in here you don't see these very often out on the light side of things no I like rocket in a jar, but not when we're only on, on one HP. That is a, a surefire way for me to accidentally lay a bomb and, and kill myself. I do not trust myself with doing that. Okay, so we actually have to we have to pick that up now because I'm not going down one HP. Um, yeah, I do like glowing hourglass. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and take that right now. 
right now. Go ahead and take it right now. I don't know what that voice is. Uh, we can go clear one more room. We should be low enough. The secret room's north of there, by the way. Oh, maybe not. Actually, south of there. South of here. We should get another soul heart here, I think. I think. Picking up the key may have screwed things up. Okay, so yeah, we're still good. We're still good. Um, we could do the boss trap room, but I just don't see a reason to. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up all the soul heart and let's go see how many soul hearts we profited. Remember that we've used a bunch of them on Sanguine Bond and also one tap on the sacrifice room. But this is just a great example of showing you why with a balance. Oh, wow. It's not there. I'll be ghoul Dan. Is it here? Okay. Obviously, I would like to get back into the devil deal because I want Ouija board. I don't want Damocles. Um, well, hang on now. Hang on. Hang on a second now. Hang on. Hang on. If we take Damocles and use it, but we also have the glowing hourglass, technically speaking, that should give us three, that should give us three hits per, per floor before we have to start worrying about Damocles. And I rarely ever get hit that much unless I'm like on tilt or something. Super secret could be there or to the left of the, uh, the room with the turrets. It's usually to the left of the room of the turrets. Let's see. Let's see here. Well, this this might be interesting. Because we can undo any hits that we get with the glowing hourglass, but then still maintain the the advantage of having uh, Damocles. Did not get there. Uh, we can go into the curse room to go check it out real quick. So, but obviously now we are not going to be able to get the soul hearts after every drop. Um, they're going to be bombs for the time being. Got these Paul. We can use it for three soul hearts. I think I'm I'm better off just not just touching it and then leaving with the glowing hourglass. So we lose a soul heart, but that's okay. And a guppy item that didn't technically cost us anything, even though. Technically, technically, I guess it did because we did pay uh, one soul heart to get in there. So it's great and everything that we have, like, you know, lots of utility with this run. We have lots of potential. However, one thing we don't have is lots of damage or movement speed. Our movement speed is just, it is just slow rolling doo doo on a frozen hill covered in molasses. I don't, it, it the imagery that is there, I don't, I don't know where I'm going for that, but yeah, just, it's bad. Um, we don't want to get any red hearts because if, the, if we start doing, if we lose any red hearts, the game will no longer spawn soul hearts. And, and in fact, I think it won't give us any soul hearts until we get rid of our red hearts. I think, I think. So let's see what we get from every room clear. We get ourselves a chest, which gives us lots of money. Glyph of Balance would also drop us any keys if we needed it, any money that we need. I mean, it's, it is a literal gold mine of pickups so the fact that we started with it in this run is really really cool um and you got to see a little bit of what it can do for you whenever you have your health so obviously we have tons of health right now the the glyph of balance is not going to pay out anytime soon with soul hearts i don't think it will with a red heart container like i said but we'll see Bomba. all right the entire entire map over there we're looking good kind of slouching a little bit I, I hurt my back somehow today. I don't know how. I was like, I was sit, I was sitting a little, a little, a little goofy, on uh, in the rest. I was sitting a little goofy in the restaurant today for dinner, and I think that's what caused it. Cause like, I go to, I go to tonight. We went to a ramen place, um, and they have like commun, they do like the whole like communal sitting where it's just one big table and it's just a bunch of, like you have to sit, sometimes if it's busy, you sit next to total strangers, which I'm not a huge fan of, um, but it is what it is. And uh, in order for me to, to speak to my friends that I was there with, I had to like kind of like turn left a little bit and just sitting like that, like my lower back's like, no, no, we are, we are. 
we are not able to move like that. Yeah, this is this is this is what bad damage and bad movement speed looks like right here. That is how we lose a full charge of glowing hourglass. So it's actually probably really good that we didn't get Damocles. I know that it's gonna make some of you zany crazy members of the mosh pit cringe a little bit, but uh too bad. <laughs> I think that the I, I think that it was it would have been very unwise to take Damocles, although I was going to do it. I was totally going to do it. But the game did not want that, and it's probably for the best. Blessing in disguise. So you're seeing here we're getting just inundated with bombs right now. Sure would love to find our item room or shop. Uh, secret room might be here. Could be in the elbow as well. Could be above the boss trap room. We're going to keep on looking for our item room in our shop. Because uh, I hear tale that they're, they do exist in this game. I, I have not seen one in so long, but in the before times of when we used to get item rooms and shops, we know they exist somehow. There's a bone heart. I'm going to leave the bone heart for now just because there's no reason to pick it up. Using the hourglass because we have absolute doo-doo movement speed. And going up against three wide-eyed, open-eyed globins. No thank you. I'm going to continue to pick up bombs just because I don't want bombs to drop. And uh, eventually we will find our item room. I don't know where or when or how, but... The fact that we haven't seen it for this long means they're both adjacent to one another, and they are. Well, technically they're not adjacent to one another. They, they both share a room, but you know what I mean. The shop, and boy howdy, what a shop it was. All right. I think we got that steam sale. All right. Keep all that. Grab this dime. Cancer. Cancer's great for us here. This is going to give us the wafer effect whenever we uh, take any damage, so it's good. This even might be there. Oh, it is. Wow. One tap and we're done. Conehead and also get a little hushy. Little hushy. Little hushy. Get mega fatty. Oh, I cannot believe that we dodged that. Brother, I thought we were cooked. There's a 0% chance we get out of this without taking a hit. We'll see he does that over and over again. Wow. We need, absolutely need a tears upgrade because our tears upgrade's bad, and so are our devil deals and item rooms. Except for cancer. So because we took the we took damage from Krampus, we actually gained the wafer effect, which is going to lower the amount of damage we take from Sanguine Bond by a lot. So this is potentially huge. We gain a damage up, which is great. We gain another damage up, which is even better. And I'll continue to do that all day, every day, brother. Yeah, we, we do this to completion here. And then I think it's honestly probably wise for us to go use Guppy's paw and get rid of this red heart devil, this red heart uh, container while we can. We get more of the void. We're free. Well, technically not free, but man, oh man, look at our damage. Slowly climbing up there. This is what we want more and more. We're at 99 cents now. Another damage upgrade. Good lordy. I'll go one more. Another damage upgrade. Wow, that was the most incredible round of Sanguine Bond tapping I've ever seen. Now, we could potentially, we could hurt ourselves and go into the boss trap room. Just to see what's in there. With Maw of the Void and this, and, and I mean, our damage still is not incredible, incredible, but it's 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 much improved. Um, we have to go down to a, basically one heart, so I'm not going to. This was where Guppy's paw is right before I 
I end up hurting myself. Okay, making sure. Or going in there and then like inevitably forgetting that like Guppy's paw was on like the previous floor and be like, oh, we're gonna be fine. Yeah, that, that would be a very Sinvicta way to end things here. Absolutely take blue cap. It's gonna give us a tears upgrade, but more importantly, give us another HP upgrade. We can get rid of with Guppy's paw, which turns into six soul hearts. Oh my goodness. And this was all from the pickup of Sanguine Bond. So for all the bad things I used to think about Sanguine Bond, obviously I've, I have seen the light. I've seen the red colored light. Um, we're going to leave that for now because we need to go back into the devil, into the uh, curse room, pick up Guppy's paw, and then we can pick up that fresh soul heart when we leave. So in just one incredible floor here, we have really turned it around. We have tons of buying power. We have tons and tons of survivability with cancer. We have a lot of potential here with Ma the Void. We even got a lump of coal from, from Krampus. So to say the fact that everything is coming up Millhouse would be an understatement. This was a legendary floor for us, and I am... Very happy that uh, Sanguine Bond is getting its, its its day in the sun because, man, I used to think that item was just doo-doo, and now it is, it is the doo-doo, if you know what I mean. With all that being said, we need some movement speed now. Like, really, really, really bad. Thank you. I don't know if... I'm not sure if uh, I don't I don't think anyway that Glyph of Balance would do anything for like specific tier or for specific uh, pill drops if your stats are all really good or balanced. I don't think it does. I don't think it goes that deep. We got a soul heart. I didn't realize that. No 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 no. We want we want more soul hearts. So because I lost that half soul heart, that should be enough to trigger it back to us since it was that's what we needed. No, it's the keys. Okay, now that we have even keys, it should give us the soul heart payout, right? All right. Now this may seem stupid. But think of the profit that we gain from clearing from clearing rooms like this for an entire map on Necropolis and then going back and picking up every single soul heart that we get. I mean, it's 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 beautiful. And the fact that you can game the system like that and it adjusts to it adjusts itself on the fly is just huge. Speaking of flying. Having flying would be nice. So we cannot get Eden Soul. That would have been a that would have been a great room to use the Hangman in. Unfortunately, remember every single soul heart we pick up is basically two taps after we take the initial bit of damage, and that translates to such huge potential in the late game. Oh, they are. Still looking for our item room, which seems to be the common theme of today. Shops, everybody. Good old shops. So we've had a single tarot card in the shop, then a single item and one pill. Shop as well, or whatever that was. Super Secret might be over here not uh you know what i am willing to use i want to get a reroll just in case so this is going to cost us half of a or one full soul heart just fine because we have a whole bunch of them on the ground and eden soul will do a d6 and d20 um we just need to make sure that we don't leave anything on the ground that we want and we need to make sure that we don't leave anything on an item pedestal that we want 
But I believe that our HP is under the threshold. We shouldn't be getting any soul hearts anymore, I think. We've already been to our item room. It was, it was Ucor Mycosis. Great block by, uh, by uh, Conehead there. It didn't, you couldn't see it because uh, we were charging up uh, Maw of the Void. But Conehead actually prevented that turret shot there. Originally, I thought it was Pretty Fly, but I realized that no, Pretty Fly was on the other side of our head, so it couldn't, couldn't have been that. I'm only taking the HP upgrade because I'm anticipating getting a double deal, hopefully. Maybe. Potentially. Well, there's two more soul hearts uh, in the shop below, or in the room below the shop. Huh. So we end up leaving this this four potentially with almost full HP after sacrificing like three HP to make sure that we get the triggers for the Maw of the Void. Or for Maw of the Void. For uh, Cliff of Balance. I did not. I could have re-rolled it, but I'm saving it for a double deal. Curse the unknown, a little bit annoying, but at least it's not curse the blind. So we need more, need more movement speed. We started off great with a uh, with a PH Dizzle pickup. The flavor of the month is going to be red chests or red hearts and chests and milk, which is going to give us a tears upgrade, a massive one at that. Um, whenever we take damage. Yeah, we gotta do that. We, there's there's no reason we should be getting it. No reason why we should be getting hit in this room. On the void, hello. There's no reason why we should be getting hit in this room. I don't know why we, uh... I, I mean, just like, a, just a, a little bit of movement speed. You know, we don't need to be Usain Bolt or anything. Or what, what was the name of the, of the... There's a rookie who ran like a 4-2-2-40 the Combine this year. His name was Xavier or something. I mean, that's fast. I don't remember what my fastest 40 time was, but I remember it was nowhere near that. When I when I broke my when I broke my ankle in in soccer that was that was it for my my speed I used to be really fast I actually believe it or not I used to do track um, used to do like uh, relay races and stuff as a kid then I had a serious soccer injury that uh, it it got me good messed me up something fierce and uh, that was the it. that was it for my track days that was it for my soccer days and uh, then I had to move on over to uh, football. I don't mean soccer as in football. I mean American football. As TV used to call it American hand egg. Brother, if we could get a dollar, a real life dollar for every single time on this run that we've had to go do a practically a full clear just to find the shop, we would have like $8 right now. I half expected it to be a greed fight. Gonna put some money back here since we just have nothing to use our money on. There you go. So I'm going to take this pretty fly. Could use the Soul of Eden to re-roll that. Um, not going to. We could also play the. We could play the um, Temperance Machine in this in the arcade for a blood bag, but. Something tells me that we ain't gonna get it. I'm depending on and banking on us getting some speed up pills from PhD. 
or that we can use in conjunction with PhD. That's the plan anyway. You're trying to maximize uptime there on mom's foot. Yep. Yeah, we need damage. A really, really not great devil deal. I don't leave all this stuff on the ground except for soul hearts. And I have no idea how much HP we have. We'll figure it out. Obviously, I do not want multidimensional baby. We need something better than that. Okay. Thanks for the 15 cent payout games, but get some damage. That'd be great. Yeah, I don't know how much HP we have left, so this is... That's it. That's that's all I'm going. All of Eden. They're not on Red Heart HP yet, so it's good to know. Uh, so the Temperance Machine... Hey, there we go. Speed up. The, the Reverse Temperance, I don't believe, works with PhD. I have to consistently check here that we're not on red hearts. There we go. I don't want to pick those up, so I'm going to lay a bomb to move them away from me. Need to make sure that we are not on red hearts, though. The only way to do that is to walk and try to pick up one of these. Hey, nice. Got Leviathan. It goes a black heart, so actually that is gonna give us we Leviathan gave us a bunch of black hearts, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. Okay, that worked out. I figured we still had plenty, but I didn't want to waste I, I didn't want to waste them. And Leviathan is going to give us the much needed mobility uh, that, uh, you know, bad movement speed is, is going to require in order for you to stay safe. So, in a way, having flying really gives you a forgiveness factor if you happen to have crap movement speed. Like, ow, was that two pins? That was two pins. The game of the Leviathan transformation off of Sanguine Bond just... I mean, that's just... It's beautiful. Wow, really? Okay. That was... That's like a 90% wall right there. So that's really surprising. Wicked Crown. Uh, Wicked Crown we can take. It, it does spawn us an item room inside of Shoal. And a shop. So our, our shop journey is not technically over yet. That's proc there by Mucormycosis. Poisoning... Uh, was he Mr. Fred? Oh, he's Mr. Dead. So check out the vault real quick here. Could have undone that, but we have plenty of keys, so it's kind of whatever. We like I may want to undo a uh, another hit or something. I think that was a tears up. What was this? Fuck up. I really don't need more luck. We're, we're 3.71 is good enough for me. We really want need is a movement speed upgrade game. If we can manage one of those. I'll be happy. But I mean, there really with the amount of fortune that we've had on this run, like uh, there's no, there's no room for complaining about anything on this run. We are absolutely sorted. In terms of our damage, in terms of our weapon potential here with Maul the Void, flying, mobility, all that kind of good stuff. I could have undone that. I probably should have for one full soul heart. We 
Okay, so this is this is where we gotta we gotta be brave here. We can play the sack room because we are on womb two, and I do I would like to just skip Shoal. Like I mean, having a shop is great and everything on Shoal, but what's even better is just not having to do it. And judging by how bad the sh the shops have been on this run, even though we have Steam sale, I don't think it's great. What we can do is if we don't get anything from these taps, we can just un simply undo them with the glowing hourglass. But if we get teleported, the angel deal, that resets that. And we didn't, so I wasn't really worried about it. We cannot leave this room, though, because it is going to reset the cancer debuff, or cancer buff that we have, um, which is going to, of course, make it to where we're only taking half heart damage, so we don't want to lose that at all seven soul hearts which is great so we will definitely be picking those up after we deal with gabriel i'm still gonna go fight the devil deal fight the boss and then get the devil deal hopefully good 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 good, good. a 58 percent chance for deal with the angel keeper if we had minus touch or something that synergized with money, like equals power, that'd be great. But we, we do not. Simply do not. I mean, Sanguine Bond is just. It, Thing with Bond can just carry you, assuming you have the right ingredients for to, to utilize it safely. Because obviously, if you don't have the wafer and you don't have cancer, then things get a little bit trickier, right? A little bit trickier. Don't hit prevented the damage there. Did somehow get an angel deal. Boy, howdy. What a deal it is. All right. And we'll just go back here and uh, teleport to the dark room. Really want that rotten heart, but we're going to take it. Vessel is great. Guppy's hairball. So we are not going to be able to get Guppy, unfortunately. Um, I will take Headless Baby and also also take Empty Vestida. Again, I know that we had a shop lined up with Wicked Crown, but it's not, in my opinion, worth it to get one extra shop, one extra item room in this spot when we can afford to just go straight to Dark to to Lamb. We don't need anything else to win this run. Um. And it, it's not that I think it's undue risk or anything like that. It's just that I don't think that there's a reason to do so. Now, is that the right play? It's debatable because on one hand, you, you you finish the run faster and you do it in the same, pretty much the same fashion that you would have. I would argue it's more dangerous to go through Shoal just for a chance to have a decent shop or something. But again, given the lack of items that we're seeing in our shops on this run, I highly doubt that we were going to see something that we actually truly needed to break this run wide open. And Shoal was way, 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 way longer usually than Dark Chest is. I wouldn't say more dangerous because obviously you're not going up against bosses all the time, but it can be kind of a, a problem to clear. So cut out the middle man, go straight for, straight for the lamb in my opinion. If the game wanted me to go for late game shops, it shouldn't have given me that, that first shop. That's when we knew something was afoot. There's mischief abound. All right. There's the northwest side. Let's go check out the west side here. All right. 
Here's the west side of the map, everybody. Let's go check out the east side now. You get our first item from our chest that wasn't in the starting room. I'm going to let this one ride here just because we're probably on the soul heart payout. No, we're not, surprisingly. So what a run, man. This was a fantastic showing for Sanguine Bond and why is so, so strong to not only combo with other things that you were given in the game, but also showing you how to farm with the Glyph of Balance. The Glyph of Balance is just so strong. Combine that with the fact that Sanguine Bond was just going absolutely ham for us. There's no way that the game was going to get this one from us. So good, uh, good, just a good Wednesday win. So thank you for watching, everyone. I'm not feeling not feeling delirium today. Uh, that was a good run. It was fantastic. And uh, again, let me know on your thoughts down below. Your question of the episode is going to be, what are your thoughts on Glyph of Balance? Have you ever seen us use the HP farming method before with it? Or is it something that you've known for a while and you're just glad that people are catching up on it? Post them in the comments down below. Thank you all very much. Remember, get these videos to 3,000 likes, and that will get us towards the like tree goal of the TM Trainer Month. And as always, I'll see you all next time until then so long everybody thanks for watching this video i like to thank some patrons of mine like Mar marcelo flores taz bryant and g ben gaijing if you'd like to have your name read at the end of the episode check out my patreon campaign which you can find at patreon.com slash invicta 